What is going on college basketball fans today I'm going to give you guys my top 10 transfer portal prospects that are still in the portal right now and available to pick up. Not only am I giving you guys my top 10 but I'm also going to give you guys my prediction on where they are going to commit to. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys enjoy subscribe if you guys are new and comment down below if you guys want to see my 11 through 20 transfer portal prospect rankings as well. And Yeah guys let's get it started. All right my number one transfer portal player is still available right now is Hunter Dickinson. Now, Hunter Dickinson is a center. He still has two years of eligibility remaining, and he's transferring out of Michigan. Last season for Michigan, he did average 18 points per game, nine rebounds per game, and over an assist per game, and he is down to his final two teams. There for a little bit after Michigan did pick up Caleb Love, a lot of rumors were going around that he might return to Michigan uh, this year, which definitely could have been a possibility, but no, he is down to his final two. He is going to be returning close to his hometown in Maryland. His final two teams are Maryland and Georgetown. And my prediction for Hunter Dickinson is that he is going to play for Georgetown next season and Ed Cooley. I think that this would be an amazing pickup for Georgetown. They already picked up one Big, big Ten player in Jaden Epps from Illinois. If they go out there and get the top transfer player in the portal, Ed Cooley, would be making a statement in his first offseason as the Hoyas head coach. Next up at number two, I do have Max Acemas. We all know midcourt Max is an absolute butt bucket. Last year, he did average 22 points per game, four rebounds per game, and four assists per game. He only has one year of eligibility remaining, and I am pretty confident that it is down to three schools for Max Acemas. Two of them are big 12 schools and that is kansas state texas and wichita state now i honestly do believe that all three of these teams on his list have a legit shot at picking up max ace miss i think it might be like 33.3 percent for all three of these teams as far as chance to pick him up but my prediction my final prediction is i am going to say that midcourt max is heading to austin to play for rodney terry i think that he could take the place of marcus carr really nicely and have a nice backcourt between him and Tyrese Hunter, that would be a lot of fun. Max Acemas to Texas is my prediction. Coming in at number three, we have a transfer from North Texas University, and that is Tyler Perry. He was the Conference USA Player of the Year, and he very stacked Conference USA last season. And last season, he did average for North Texas 17 points per game, three rebounds per game, and two assists per game. And he is down to, I don't think he necessarily narrowed his list down, but he is visiting two schools schools and that is Alabama and Ole Miss but Arkansas is well in the mix still for Tyler Perry and I still do believe that Texas Tech has a legit shot as his former head coach at North Texas took the Texas Tech job and it would not surprise me at all if he decides to go there but the main two teams that he is visiting are Alabama and he has an at-home visit with Ole Miss. And I think all four of these teams definitely have a shot at getting him. But I'm going a little bit out of the, out of the box here. I'm going to say that he is going to commit to Texas Tech. And it is not one of the teams that he is visiting. But he knows that head coach already. He could make a visit here in the future. He has not narrowed his list down to any two particular teams yet. So I still believe that the Red Raiders have a good shot at picking up Tyler Perry this season at number four i do have the transfer out of creighton he is a point guard it is ryan nimhart and i believe he still has three years of eligibility remaining last season for the blue jays he did average 12 points per game four rebounds per game and five assists per game and it is pretty out there that he is down to his final two teams and that is arizona and Gonzaga and it makes sense because his brother did play for Gonzaga so he knows both of these coaches as we know uh, Mark Few head coach of Gonzaga and then Tommy Lloyd was an assistant coach there under Mark Few at Gonzaga whenever his brother did play there so he knows Tommy Lloyd really well as well but my prediction is that he is going to go to Arizona and I'm pretty confident in this one I out of all of them so far I'm really confident that Ryan Nimhard will be an Arizona Wildcat next season and if they get Azulis Turbellis to return along with Ballo 
look out for Arizona next season. And at number five, I do have the transfer out of Stanford. He also still has three years of eligibility remaining. It is Harrison Ingram. And last season for Stanford, he did average 10 points per game, six rebounds per game, and three assists per game. And he was a five-star recruit coming out of high school. I mean, he is a super good player, and there are some blue bloods going after him. And I believe that his final three are Kansas, North Carolina and Kentucky and right now a lot of hype is behind North Carolina picking up Harrison Ingram this offseason but I am going to say I really do think that Harrison Ingram is going to be a Kansas Jayhawk next season I mean he fits the role of Ochai Abachi, Jalen Wilson like that type of scoring small forward very very well and I I think that he can slip right in there for Bill Self and play that role, and it would be an amazing pickup if Kansas were able to get him. Like I said, North Carolina is looking like the favorites right now. Kentucky is in the mix, but I believe that he is going to go to Kansas. Next up, at number six, I do have Aaron Estrada, the transfer out of Hofstra University, and he still has one year of eligibility remaining, but last year for Hofstra, he did average 20 points per game, five rebounds per game, and four assists per game. Very, very good numbers here for Aaron Estrada. He is down to his final four, and this is his official final four coming out from him himself, and that is Cincinnati, Alabama, Kansas State, and Florida State. Now, all of these teams, like I said, they're in his final four. They all have a legit shot at him, and right now it's maybe looking like Cincinnati actually might be the favorites, and that's a little bit surprising to me, but I am going to say that my prediction is that he is going to go to Kansas State. Kansas State has been in on a lot of these top transfer guards trying to pick someone up, and I think they are going to get somebody. I think it would be smart also for Aaron Estrada to take his chances with Jerome Tang and this Kansas State team. He saw what Marquise Noel was able to do at the guard position there last season. I think that he could uh, step right into that and be that guard that can be the main scorer for this Kansas State team and I, I think it would be a wise move for him to do that. That is my prediction that he will be a Kansas State Wildcat next season. Coming in here at number seven, we do have a transfer from Cal Baptist University and that is Taron Armstrong and he does still have three years of eligibility remaining in last season. He did average 11 points per game, four rebounds per game, and five assists per game and he is also down to his final two and that final two is between Creighton and Gonzaga and it, this would be an awesome pickup for either one of these teams but I am actually pretty confident when I say I think that he is going to transfer to Gonzaga now if Gonzaga were able to get Taron Armstrong and Ryan Nimhard that would be a hell of a backcourt but I do think that Ryan Nimhard is going to head to Arizona but they will get Taron Armstrong Coming in here at number eight, I do have a transfer, another guard from Washington State University, and that is TJ Bamba. He still has two years of eligibility remaining last season for Washington State. He did average 16 points per game, three rebounds, and two assists per game. He is down to his final two teams, those two teams being Georgia Tech and Villanova. Two couple of random teams really if you ask me but when he came out and released his final two he said that he has a lot of family in Atlanta Georgia where Georgia Tech is and he also lives close to the Bronx New York which Villanova is very close to that which honestly the Villanova reason you know a little bit weird to me like yeah Philadelphia is a few hours away from the Bronx New York but it's really not that close like you could find some closer programs and for that reason, I think Villanova is in the mix because he really likes that program and he wants to go there. So I am going to say that my prediction is that TJ Bamba commits to Villanova to play next season. Next up at number nine, we do have a transfer from Wyoming and that is Graham E.K. Now Graham E.K. 
is a transfer that has been in the portal for quite some time now i feel like he was one of the first big names to enter the transfer portal but he has yet to commit he is down to his final two teams and he does still have two years of eligibility remaining his stats last year were 20 points per game nine rebounds per game and an assist per game but his final two teams are providence and colorado now i think colorado still is well in the mix and still has a shot but I think he's going to go to Providence. I think it's pretty locked in that he wants to go to Providence College and play next season. So I'm locking it in. My prediction, Graham AK to Providence next season. Coming in at number 10, the last player we have here for today's video. He is a transfer from Louisville. It is L. Ellis. Now, L. Ellis last season, he did average 18 points per game, two rebounds per game, and four assists per game. He still has one year of eligibility remaining, and he is that he is the only one on this list where he has not really narrowed his list down. But I can say he has been contacted by the following teams: Arkansas, of course, Arkansas. They are contacting every player in the portal. Pitt, NC State. Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Creighton, Oregon, Florida, Rutgers, Seton Hall, Ohio State, and Central Florida. Now, I could see a lot of these ones happening. I feel like if I were to narrow down this list to teams that I really feel like are realistic for L. Ellis to go to, I would say Arkansas, Pitt, Ole Miss, and honestly... Ohio State and Central Florida. I think that would be my top five out of these teams that I believe have a real shot at getting L. Ellis. Now, I could be completely wrong. I could see Central Florida picking him up, heading into the Big 12 next season. Um, they are going to be playing top level basketball. I could see that for sure. Um, but overall, my prediction is going to be Ole Miss. I think that L. Ellis is going to go play for coach Chris Beard next season. Um, like I said, this one right now is kind of like a shot in the dark because he has yet to narrow his list down. These are just teams that have contacted him. He hasn't scheduled any visits yet with any of these teams. So go a little bit of a blind prediction here, but I am going to say Ole Miss. I think it would be a good pickup for Ole Miss and Chris Beard. Um, like him or hate him, he is very active in the transfer portal right now, and he is trying to turn this this rebels basketball program around and l ellis would be a very good get he is an amazing player but that is going to do it for this video let me know down below in the comment section if you guys wanted to see my 11 through 20 rankings with predictions for those players as well make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new and thank you so much for watching